Chapter 1 You lie in bed, gradually slipping off into sleep. It's taking you a long time to relax enough to drift off this night. You can't seem to shake the feeling that you're not alone in your own room. Even now, on the verge of slumber, it's as though there are eyes locked onto you, sizing you up with malicious plans in mind. You try to reassure yourself that there is nothing wrong. Things will be better in the morning. Surely. Psst. Hey. Hey. Wake up. What's the matter? You look confused. You must be wondering who's whispering to you in the middle of the night. (laughs) No, I'm not outside your window. I'm right here in the room with you. Look around. See if you can find me. Oh, what's this? The lights don't work? How strange. Hmm, perhaps it's the mysterious voice's fault. You'll have to search in the dark. Uh -uh -uh. I won't let you leave before the game is over. You'll have to find me. Come on, haven't you ever played hide and seek? I'm making it so easy for you. Closer. Closer. (laughs) No, I'm not hiding in the closet. Not tonight, at least. Oh, what's the matter? You look so frightened. Scared of what you might find. Mm, I can't blame you. I can be very... very scary. But you better keep looking. I'm having fun right now. But if you don't play along, I might get angry. And you wouldn't want that now, would you? Good. You're getting warmer. Warmer. Oh, getting hot. Almost. Gotcha. (laughs) Better fight back, or I'll pull you under the bed with me. Come on, struggle and scream. You have to make it fun. Nice job. Most nights I'd call it quit there, but it's been a while since I've crawled out into the open world. Oh, that feels good. I don't stretch these limbs too often. Oh, you look so frightened. Do I really look that scary? Why, I'm flattered. It makes me glad to know that even after all these centuries, I can still scare humans witless with my appearance alone. Tsk, tsk, still trying the door. But I'm not done with you yet. Let me get nice and close to look at that terrified face. Ah, that's nice. Those wide eyes, that quivering bottom lip. Humans always look so perfect when they're afraid. I doubt I'll ever get tired of it. What am I? Funny you should ask. Honestly, I don't quite know. I know there are others like me, but... We haven't bothered to give ourselves a name, and why should we, when you humans have given us so many bugbears, hobgoblins, boogeymen, but honestly, I think I just prefer to be called a monster. I think it fits quite well. Monsters are born from fear, sustained by fear. 
Our one and only purpose and joy is to terrify humans like you. Honestly, I'm not sure why I decided to come out tonight. Usually I'm content with frightening children, but right now I just want more. Ooh, how about this? I'll allow you to open the door and you start running. It's been so long since I've had a good chase. What will I do when I catch you? Mm, I suppose that depends on how much I enjoy myself. Better make it fun. I might have to resort to messier methods to draw more fear out of you. I'm so excited. Ready? Go. Oh, that's it. Run, little human. Run. Can you hear me, human? Can you hear me right in your ear? No matter how far you get, you can't escape my voice. You can't escape me. Do keep trying, though. Oh, out onto the streets. Good. But don't just run in a straight line. You have to dodge and weave a bit. You won't lose me, but it's more fun when you try. Crying for help won't do you any good. I have so many tricks up my sleeve. See that? The few people out here avoid you. Thanks to me, they won't be any help. But you can keep screaming if you like. Oh, I've missed this leaping from rooftop to rooftop, tracking my prey. I may have gotten a bit lazy over the centuries. I should definitely do this more often. Well, you're slowing down. Getting tired. I could keep this up all night. Are you sure you can afford to let me catch up? I'm not ready to stop just yet. I'm getting closer. I can see each bead of sweat on your brow. I can hear your heart hammering in your chest. I can smell the panic on your breath. Oh my, that was close, wasn't it? Do that and I'm almost certain to catch you. Hmm, just look at you. So much fear in their expression. I'm amazed the humans don't enjoy being afraid. You're never more alive than when you're at risk of death. I'm gaining even more. I can see how tired you are slowing down, down, down. Ha! Got you. You certainly did put up quite the chase. Now, what will I do with my little prize? Oh, so many choices. I just love your wide, terrified eyes. Maybe I should pluck them out and keep them. Or maybe I should take your feet instead. They must be so sore. I'd be practically doing you a favor. Hmm, so tempting, but honestly, I just enjoyed myself too much. I couldn't possibly do anything to hamper your running. I'd just be so sad if I didn't ever get to chase you again. On the other hand, I can't let you get away thinking I'm all talk. If you don't believe that I'm willing to hurt you, you might not run as hard next time. I think I'll settle for leaving you with a little mark. Just to remind you that this wasn't a nightmare. Now, where to put it? Hmm. I couldn't possibly mark that lovely, terrified face. I'll put it right here on the back of your hand. How will I mark you? Now it's simple. 
Do you see these claws? They're so wonderfully sharp, aren't they? All I need to do is run it across your skin and... <laughs> I doubt I could ever get tired of your scream. You put so much emotion into it. You're marked as my prey now. I'll be back for you eventually. It could be months, weeks, even days. But I will be back to chase you again. I certainly hope you're just as scared as the next time we meet. For your sake, as well as mine. Farewell, human. I'll be watching you. Chapter 2 Just as always, you can't sleep. Every night you wonder if the monster will be back. Some nights you try to convince yourself that it was just a horrific nightmare, but the mark carved into your hand won't allow you to maintain that fantasy for long. You can only lie there and worry. You lie perfectly still, eyes closed, trying to think of some calming thoughts. Maybe they won't come at all. Maybe you're safe. Wake up, little human. Wake up. I'm back, just like I promised. Oh, a scream for me. How thoughtful. You really spoil me, you know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. For now, I want you to stay right where you are. I'm sure you're just as eager for our chase as I am. But you should be more patient. Oh dear. Am I going to have to hold you down? Tsk, tsk. You're being quite a bother. But I'm not too upset. This is rather fun. Do you remember these claws? I'm sure you couldn't ever forget how they felt. I'm not digging them in hard enough to draw blood yet. But if you don't stop struggling, I'm going to have to grip you harder. And then... Well, I'm sure you can imagine. Nah, good. You're such an easy human to work with. So prone to terror. So willing to do anything to avoid getting hurt. You're just perfect for my needs. So, are you ready for me to chase you again? Ready to feel your heart pounding, your muscles burning, your lungs straining. I know I am. To be honest, I was going to wait a little longer before I came to see you again. I've been watching you nervously shiver underneath your covers, eyes wide as you wondered if tonight would be the night that I returned. But I just couldn't stop thinking about it, about the rush of adrenaline as I hunt you down, the smell of sweat, tears and fear heavy in the air. You really made quite the impression on me last time, but of course I don't want to just repeat our last encounter. After all, we already know how that will end. The human world is just too boring. You humans have gone to such great lengths to make your world safe. But you took all the fun out of it. As wonderful as our last chase was, it would have been so much better without the smooth streets and orderly rows of houses. A real hunt should be chaotic and unpredictable. 
That's why I've decided to do something rarely ever done by my kind. I'm going to take you home with me. You look so frightened. What a perfect reaction. That's right. I'm bringing you to a whole other world. My homeland is so much more interesting. It doesn't follow rules like yours does. It's free and always changing. We'd be able to have ever so much fun there. Now, now. I told you not to struggle. You're only hurting yourself. We'll have plenty of time for all that fright and pain in a moment. So foolish. You can't fight me. You can't escape me. Struggle all you like, but you can't stop what's happening. Under the bed we go. Ah. Home, sweet home. This world of monsters is quite different from yours, as you can no doubt tell. And yet the two are very closely linked. If you know what you're doing, any sufficient dark space can be a doorway to this land. That's why we went under the bed. Even in your dark room, the light coming in from the window makes the connection weaker. I mean, but just look at this twisted landscape. The very ground can twist and ripple. And I'm sure you've noticed the floating islands. Gravity is quite random here. You'll come across spots where it's weaker, or stronger, or pulls in a different direction. Really, there's too much that's different from your world to fully explain. You'll just have to learn to expect the unexpected. Now, doesn't that sound fun? Oh, there's one more thing I will warn you about. The topography is treacherous, but the living things are much, much more dangerous. There are all sorts of creatures that would love to eat you alive, especially if they were monsters, like me. But don't trust anything here, not even the plant life. You must consider every inch of this world hostile to you. We wouldn't want you to get caught by something other than me, would we? Hmm, oh, are you as excited as I am? Now, other than the change in location, everything else about this chase will be as it is before. You get a head start, and then I'll hunt you down. Or had you after? Depends on how much you entertain me. Ready? Go. <laughs> I was so right. This is already much, much better than last time. No familiar streets to follow. Not even the comfort of understanding what's around you. The confusion and panic on your face is marvellous. <gasps> And already the local flora is taking a swipe at you. Those aren't branches, they're tendrils. You're so small and frail, if one of them gets a good grip on you, you'll be as good as gone. Do try and be careful. I want to be the one to catch you. Oh, looks like you picked up our path. The terrain in this direction is like a maze. It's no problem for me, of course, I can just run along the top, but you, my poor little prey, must simply hope that you don't encounter a dead end. If that happens, you'll be ending too. Oh my, this really is so much more exciting. I think something's caught your scent. Something aside from me, of course. So much is happening, isn't it wonderful? It brings me back to the old days where we would hunt groups of humans at a time. What a waste these past few centuries have been. Choosing easy prey over thrilling ones. Oh, 
or perhaps I spoke too soon. I'm afraid you've taken a wrong turn. Such a shame. I wasn't finished yet. It seems I'll have to find something else to do with you. Something... messier. Hmm. That's strange. You don't look as scared as I expected. What are you... Oh! Hey, what do you think shoving me is going to... Oh, I'm stuck. You pushed me into this plant. I... Hey, hey, get back here. Oh, was that luck? Or did you plan this? No matter. You can't escape. Just as you can't escape my voice. You might not be as strong enough to fight off these tendrils, but... <laughs> I must have here am. Your little stunt has brought you some time, human. But I am back on the hunt. I can smell your breath. I can taste that little whimper of yours as you panic. Trying to think of another plan. I am almost close enough to see you again. Oh, there you are. Careful, you're slowing down. I'm glad you're scared, but don't let it keep you from trying your best. Here I come, human. I'm so close, and... Ah, uh, uh, that was... Amazing. To think you are actually able to stall me, however briefly. I knew that bringing you to my world would make the change so much more challenging. But I never thought that you might actually be able to use it to your advantage. That small act of bravo and all makes your failure in the end so much more sweet. Well, time to bring you home. Whatever else is out there is probably still stalking you. As much as I enjoy a fight, I'd rather bask in this victory a little longer. Come along. Mm -hmm. Are you all Tuck it out. You must have pushed yourself so hard that you can barely stand. Don't worry. You can just lie there. I'll drag you back. No, oh, if I do that, I might damage you. I don't plan to keep you pristine and unspoiled forever, but I'd hate to harm you excessively this early on. Alright, just this once, I'll carry you, but don't think for a second that I'm being kind, I must preserve your fear towards me, whatever the cost. Mm. You're even lighter than I would have expected, it's so easy to leap from place to place, even with you in my arms. Hmm. I wonder how far I could toss you. Ah oh, well, a question for another time. Do you see that structure over there? That's where I live. And now, it's where you live too. Oh yes, that's right. I'm going to keep you here. If you had simply performed adequately, I would have put you back in the human world to retrieve again another time. But managing to make an ancient being like me surprised by pushing me into that plant. Oh well, that's proof of how valuable you are. If I let you go, some other monster might see your potential and whisk you away. And I couldn't possibly risk losing a rare gem like you. Now take a good look around. You'll become more well acquainted with these walls. Well, one set of walls in particular. Let me show you. Mmm. A cage. Just for you. It's been unoccupied for a long, long time. I'm so happy to fill it again.
This was made to hold several humans at a time, so it would be quite spacious for you. Aren't you lucky? Now, let's get you nice and chained up. I doubt you could do anything in these iron bars, but one can never be too careful. Perfect. From now on, we'll be doing all sorts of fun things together. But for now, I'll let you get some rest. You'll need to be in tip-top shape for all our games. Good night. Chapter 3 You wake up from another restless sleep. You don't know if it's the monster's influence, but you find yourself chased by it even in your dreams. You sit up and are surprised to see that the door to your cage is open. A big part of you is desperate to run, but you force yourself to remain calm. You've come to recognise a trap when you see one. You expect to hear your captor's voice at any moment. Good morning, my little prey. I'm not nearby right now, but I thought I'd greet you as you woke up anyway. I heard you were stirring even as I was so far away, but by now I'm sure you know how good my hearing is. Oh, what's this? The door to your cage is open? Oh dear, what a blunder. Well, I'm too far away to close it in time. You could just walk out and I couldn't stop you. <laughs> Not moving. Seems like you're suspecting a trap. Well, I suppose you couldn't have lasted this long as my plaything if you weren't cautious. You're right, of course. I'd never accidentally leave the door open. But no need to worry. You won't be punished for leaving your cage. In fact, I wouldn't punish you even if you got out on your own. I'd never be upset at a surprise chase. Regardless, please do leave the cage. I've put together a brand new game for us to play. The rules are very simple. Like all best games, just find the exit. If you do, you'll get a rare chance. The opportunity to go home. Yes, you heard right. If you simply exit my home, I'll give you a three-day head start to run. After that, if I can't find you in one single day, you just come back to me, and I'll drop you right where I found you. Pretty tempting, isn't it? Keep in mind I wouldn't make this offer if I thought it was likely to happen. Mostly, I want to give you a glimmer of hope, so I can crush it. But it doesn't matter if I say that out loud, does it? You'll do anything, anything, to escape. You'll take that chance, won't you? <laughs> I thought so. In that case, let the games begin. Now, don't go thinking that you can just retrace your steps. You're in my world. My home is just as volatile and ever-shifting as the rest of this place. It'd be quite a feat if you managed to get out. So many twists and turns, aren't there? How long do you suppose you could end up wandering? Why, it could be days. Or even months. Oh, just think about it. Months of hopeless searching, grasping for a goal that's always just at the tips of your fingers. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? A shame you can't appreciate it the way I do. But then, I suppose if you did, you wouldn't really be suffering anymore. Just the way of things, I suppose. Come to think of it. I haven't come up for a punishment for when, <laughs> I mean, 
if you lose. But what more can I really do? I'm reaching my limit of how much torture I can physically uh, hurt you with without impeding your ability to escape. And you're starting to show weaker reactions to psychological torment as well. Ah, there's an idea. Pick a new fresh prey. One who's still whole and undamaged. Perhaps a friend. Or a family member. Then I wouldn't have to come up with new forms of punishment. Just recycle the ones I've used. Well, all you have to do is leave the house. And you won't even have to worry who I pick. I must confess, you have an impressive win record. Although the term win might be used loosely here. But you certainly continue to entertain me day after day. It's as much as a victory for you as you can hope to achieve against me. Oh, and what do we have here? So many choices, which way will you go? You might not be able to find your way back here if you pick the wrong corridor. Oh, which one are you going to pick? Eeny, meeny, miny. Ooh. There you go. Was that the right one? You'll just have to find out. Oh, I can see you starting to lose hope already. Good. But don't lose your hope too quickly. Or you'll ruin the game. This should be a nice, long, slow process. And I want to be able to savor every moment. Now will you... Oh, don't worry about the footsteps. Just... Oh, actually, no. Those are my footsteps. I'm in here with you. Careful. If I catch you... You lose. So you should do everything you can to avoid... Hey. I said those are my footsteps. Stay away. Are you are you trying to lose? They don't sound like mine. I. Well, when did you become such an expert on what I sound like when I'm running? Aside from all the times I've chased you. Oh, you are really, really starting to frustrate me. Is that what you want? <sighs> Fine. Keep going, see if I care, but I'm warning you, you won't like what happens after this is all over. It is most unwise to cross me, mark my words. My oh my. Not what you expected. Behind you. What's going on? Well, it seems quite simple, doesn't it? The footsteps you were chasing belong to this young lady here. You managed to corner her at this dead end. Well done. Ah, well, that's a much better question. Do you remember earlier? I mentioned getting a second prisoner to chase. Well, to tell you the truth, I had already found one. Poor thing. When I pulled her in, she was so frightened. She ended up shocked speechless. I haven't had so much of a peep out of her, even when she's running. Still, she's nearly as fun to chase. Well, almost. So today, today I decided to pit you two against each other. Oh no, I wasn't lying. Not exactly. You really did have the choice to keep searching for the exit. How such confusion? Let me explain. Like I told you, I didn't want to give you a bit of hope. 
just to see the look on your face when I crushed it. But the real glimmer of hope was in the possibility of an exit. No, you're too cautious to believe for a moment that I had, that you had much of a chance of that. But in that moment, while you were chasing her, you felt it, didn't you? You hoped. You didn't quite know what or who you were chasing. But you knew, well, you thought, that I didn't want you to catch them. For that short moment you believed that you were fighting back against me, rebelling. You thought that you had the power to decide your fate for once. But what do you discover? That there was no chance, no way to rebel against me. You were doing exactly what I expected you to do. And the best part, I exaggerated on the difficulty of finding an exit. If you had ignored her and kept searching, you had a real shot of getting away. Oh, there it is. That despair. That powerful moment when you regret everything. I am going to remember that face fondly for the rest of my existence. Oh, no need to worry about that. I've wrung plenty of horror and despair out of you for tonight. No punishment for you, although you won't be getting your reward either. What will happen to her? So noble of you to think about her well-being. Well, her task was to evade you for an hour, which she failed at miserably. So she will be punished. But I'll get to that later. For now, I'll take you back to your cell. Oh, I'm sure you can walk. It's just more fun to drag you. You know, I was always afraid that I'd get bored of you quickly. I imagined that I could only chase you so many times before you couldn't show me anything new. But something about you has really boosted my creativity. I think I could keep up coming with new ways to torment you for years to come. Oh. What are these? Tears? I'm surprised you still get upset so easily. I would have thought you would understand by now that you'll be stuck here forever. Chin up, my little prey. Your life will be horrible and frightening until the bitter end. But at least you know why. You can blame me for all your problems. The rest of you spend their days being frustrated or fearful about seemingly nothing at all but you. You will have plenty to be afraid of. But you'll never have to fear the unknown again. Because you know what exactly goes bump in the night. Don't you? Chapter 4 You cringe as you hear footsteps down the hall. Time for another one of your captive's games. You groan, unable to stop yourself from wondering what will happen next. You've lost track of how long you've been trapped here, and you never dare list all the ways the monster has hurt you, whether physically, mentally, or emotionally. You barely even look up when the footsteps stop in front of your cage. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing in there, my human friend? I hope the cage is still uncomfortable. That's half the point, after all. But luckily for you, you get to stretch your legs a bit today. I'm taking you out into the forest for a game. <laughs> oh, so morose. You used to have a faint glimmer of hope every time I took you out, thinking that maybe you'd get the chance to escape. 
I guess by now you think that you don't even have the slightest chance. Well, cheer up. Things are going to be a bit different today. I'll explain once we're outside. Follow me. You can try to slip away if you like, but you know I will catch you, don't you? How long has it been since you've had a breath of fresh air? The last few games have been inside my home, so it must be nice to get out. Am I right? Oh, and I certainly picked a good day for this. The landscape is very rugged today. Perfect for hiding. Oh, no, 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 no. You won't be the one hiding this time. We both know I can always find you, no matter where you go. What I'm curious about is whether you can find me. Yes, it most certainly flips the script, doesn't it? I thought of it after you chased my other prisoner, thinking she was me. I got curious about how you do in an actual chase as a predator. Of course, you don't really have much of a chance at holding me down, so I'll be making it easier for you by keeping things sporting. I'm going to tie a ribbon to each of my wrists. You grab one of them, you win. And if you haven't gotten me by the time that I feel satisfied, you lose. A prize? Oh, how silly of me. I was so excited about this idea that I forgot all about a prize. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a chance to escape like usual, but you can set the terms. I have to approve it, of course. Uh, but if it sounds reasonable, then I'll accept. When are you ready? You better be, because off I go. <laughs> well, this certainly isn't a good start for you. You've already lost sight of me, haven't you? It's so strange to see you moving towards the sound of my voice for a change. But the terrain today is playing tricks on you. My voice is echoing all over the place, isn't it? Are you sure that you're headed in the right direction? Change your mind? Who? But you shouldn't be too influenced by what I say. Perhaps you were right the first time. <laughs> Such confusion. You look like a lost puppy trying to find his way home. Or what's that? Perhaps you caught a peek of me. But of course, you already know how active the plant life is here. It could have just been a tendril. Hmm, you know, it's funny how you keep wandering this way, and that way, and this way, and that way. Yeah, but it, I really think I prefer how you move when you're being chased. At least then you keep moving in one direction. Right now you keep returning to the start, and that's not as fun. Just pick a direction, I won't wander too far from you. Oh, that's it. You're getting closer. 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 Oh, now you're getting further away. No, no, go back the way you were going before. Ugh. I'm not sure you're cut out for hunting. Fine. Let's do it this way. Just look up. I'll get higher. Uh, a bit to the left. Can you see me? Hello. What you have to do is climb this tree and catch me. It will be pretty challenging to climb a tree with writhing branches, but at least that seems like something you can manage. There, that's it. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Careful, if you don't time it right, you'll fall all the way down there. Yes, now, wait, wait. <laughs> Oh, you can't even climb a tree. All right then. 
I suppose we'll just have to do a chase. Come on, I'll keep within sight of... Oh, what's wrong? You think you broke your leg? You think you broke your leg? You, uh, you serious? You think you broke your leg? Oh, that's just great. Now you can't do anything. How long does it take for a human to heal a broken bone? How long? Oh, what am I supposed to do until then? Twiddle my thumbs? Maybe we've reached the limit of what I can do with you. Anyway, it's been so hard lately to make things feel fresh. It might be time to just torture you to death and find some new prey. There's that woman I have locked up, but she's not, she's not as good as you. It's not like I want to get rid of you. You're the one who inspired me to do more than spook little children for cheap scares. But even with two working legs, we've, we've really reached your physical limits. I had lots more ideas, but they require someone almost superhuman. There's just such a big gap in our abilities. Oh, actually, that gives me an idea. What if you were superhuman? Oh, yes. I've dabbled with flesh crafting before, turning a few villagers into ghouls and then setting them loose on their old home. Now that's got a nice reaction. I only really focused on aesthetics before. But I could try some... Improvements. <laughs> Where do you think you're off to? You won't get far crawling around like that. If I were you, I'd stay put and hold very, very still. This is going to be quite difficult as it is, and I don't need you squirming around. I'm sure we both would rather that I not permanently ruin your body instead of repairing it. Okay, well, let's see. Let's uh, the start small. I'll just see if I can fix that leg. Okay, now, if I just concentrate. Ah, you see? Yeah. I can sculpt flesh and bone as if it were just clay. Oh, I'm sure it's quite painful, but stop script. Where? What, what am I saying? Scream louder! Oh, that's nice. It really helped me concentrate. Now, if I were to just hold these together and squeeze like so... Ah, yes. Perfect. Let me just close things up, and there. Take a moment to let the pain die down. Then try getting up and walking a little bit. If I can't manage a simple repair, then improvements beyond my skill. For the moment, anyway. Well, look at that. You seem to be walking around just fine. In that case, I think it's worth a shot. Now, let me think. What sort of changes could I make? Oh, I definitely want to make you faster, so powering up your leg muscles is a must, but... Perhaps it would be good to improve your senses. You humans rely so heavily on sight, and that's not very useful when finding someone that's hiding. Or when running away. So maybe I could improve your sense of hearing. And smell, too. Oh, so many ideas. But of course, this isn't something we should be rushing. Now let's head back. I'll take some time to plan out all the changes I can make. Oh, creating my own custom prey. This is going to be fantastic. 